flights are booked. The wheels go up in three hours. Okay, I hope you pack and you can take some of my clothes. <laughs> Toby, that's crazy. I've got a life here. A life I'm letting you keep. As long as you do exactly what I say. Where did Celeste go? She's gone to run an errand, but she is with me on this. There is no way out, Mitchell. Let me go and see my family. And Scott, please. No. Please. No, Mitchell. I can't take that risk. You're leaving now. No goodbyes. Mitchell! Say one word about Lisa and you'll end up just like her, understood? Mitchell! Oh, this Find My Phone app finally worked! Where have you been? I've been worried. I've been phoning you and searching. Are you going somewhere? Mitchell, we really need to hurry, bro. Don't worry, please. Look, I understand that sometimes you can't be bothered to answer the phone to your nagging mum, but blanking Scott? It's complicated. But you did get his text, right? He said that he wanted to meet you at the archway at 4pm uh, to go to the fostering thing. <sighs> I get that it's a tough decision. Mum, um... What is it, darling? Mum... <laughs> we really need to go, Rachel. Um... I'll explain it later. What do you mean? I'll explain everything later. You are about to spill your guts, weren't you? Bad move. That's Scott's. We've got his DNA, ready to plant on Lisa's body. We were worried you might be having second thoughts, so we needed to make sure you played along. So if you breathe a word about any of this, you're both going to prison. You can't talk to Martine, Walter, Scott, anyone you know ever again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you love Scott, I love Scott. He's my husband. Believe me, I hate that it had to come to this, but there's no other alternative. OK, so what if Mum... What if Mum won't understand? What if... Scott won't let this lie? We'll make sure they understand. Correction. You will. So, you found Mitchell then? For about 30 seconds, and, and then... Hey. Felix, you're back. Where you been? I... Sorry, we're a bit late. Um, Warren had stopped for a Cornish pasty. So you didn't get my last text message about Mitchell? He's uh, kind of been a bit distracted, you know, since he got back. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll catch you later. So what, what, what about Mitchell? Is he back? Well, I just got a message, so... Let's find out. Hey, Mum. Um, I'm sorry if I was a little weird earlier. Um, it's just because I couldn't work out how I was going to tell you. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got this amazing job offer. Um, and I'm taking it. I just need to, you know, find myself, you know, and, and work out who I who I really am. And if I stay, I'll only end up hurting the people that I love. So, um, Mum, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have come out. I wouldn't be the man that I am today. My oh, baby. It's no joke, he's, uh, he's doing this. You'll always be my mom. Forever. Um... Pops. You were more than just a granddad to me. You know that. You were everything. And all of the good things in my life. 
because you raised me. Uh, I gave my love to Dad, too. Um, and to Toby and Celeste, I'll never forget you. Please don't try and find me or, you know, I need to do this on my own and I love you. I can't please my Mitchell. Goodbye. Kim, but Mitchell, where have you been? I've been worried sick about you. Look, is, it, is this about going to the fostering centre? Because if it is, it's fine. We don't have to go. What's, what's wrong? I'm leaving the country. What, so you mean like you need a holiday or something? Because wherever it is you want us to go, okay, that's, that's fine. I'm there. Mitchell and Scott forever. No, this is a journey that I have to make alone. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. I just thought I was ready to settle down, but I just, I'm not. Is, it, is this about Cleo coming back or why? No, I, I, I just don't, with, with all the kids. Forget and... about kids, Mitchell, okay? This, that, that, that can wait. The, the one thing that matters to me, the only thing in my life that means something is you. I'm no good for you, Scott. Mitchell, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You, you loved me as me, okay? Not just as Anita. There's no way I'm giving up on you. You have to. No, I didn't, never. Well, I've given up on you. No, no, Mitchell, that's not true. Every step of the relationship, you always wanted more, didn't you, Scott? You pushed me to come out before I was ready. You pushed me to attack kids and I said no. I said no, Scott. You stop pushing me now. I can't take any more. Mitchell, this, this isn't you talking. I don't love you anymore. I love you. Goodbye, Scott. Mitchell. Mitchell!